Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very delicious food design inside of Canva. So open Canva and let's start designing. Before we dive into the design, I just want you to know that every single thing on what you need to know on how to create this design is going to be explained right here in this video. So make sure you stick to the end of this video because look, I'm here for you. Don't leave me. Okay, don't leave me. So let's dive straight into Canva to get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on add a page and you should also have something like this. And the dimension is 1080 by 1050 very easy and very sweet okay so after you do that what you just have to do is to press r on your keyboard for a circle hey not a circle <laughs> for a square not a circle i repeat not a circle okay then position it this way okay and you can just resize it to something like this then duplicate it position it here okay then duplicate because i think canva is now able to learn certain things you want to be able to do in your design so you can see after the first duplicate and arrangement it now follows so if i now use ctrl d you know it now makes it very easy and this is something that saves a lot of time and you know it's impressive you know okay so what we are going to do next is actually use different colors on each shape we've added in our design okay and this is going to be a part where i really need you to be so creative because i'm trying my best to know how to explain this but i just don't know maybe an increment in the saturation of a certain color wait a minute maybe that's fine okay so i just click on this one come here and i can just choose you know maybe i'll start with a lighter orange sort of come here you know choose the same color but i'll come into the plus and i would shift you know the color slider if that's the name you know just to make it more deeper you know so the saturation is now becoming more i come here choose the same color i use earlier i, I can't even tell which one is the color but i'll just come here and i'll keep choosing you know sliding the slider <laughs> i don't know if i'm making any sense okay so you can see it's making a lot of, you can actually see because uh the best way to teach you is by showing you what i'm doing okay then i choose the same orange okay come on the plus icon you know you know just increase the saturation okay then um you know just keep adding and making it more and more interesting so you can actually do the same because trying to explain it to you is not working so it's just a matter of you just copy what i'm doing okay so yeah um just make this one a bit darker so you can see how the whole thing is looking right now okay yeah so what we are going to do next is come into element in element just search for paper okay paper tear or paper tear depending on where you are from then i'll just choose this one position it here and increase the size to something like this you can see it's actually looking very simple then come into photos and in photos search for meat okay or meat on plates then come into the filter and just choose cut out only okay so you'll see so many interesting photos okay so i'll choose this one because this one looks very sumptuous delicious it's something i wish i could have you know even though some of you might be on diet i'm not on diet actually so i, I can eat what i want to eat uh -huh. yeah so then i'll just um choose everything over here and maybe drop it down a little bit to something like this so that we can have more space at the top okay then press c on your keyboard for a circle position it here because we would want to add some pricing and all that so i'll just position it here so you can see so we actually moved it to the top so it can be here then um we use a rounded square so press r on your keyboard okay reduce the size to something like this come here to corner rounding and you can just increase the rounding all right to something like this position it here depending on what you want actually okay so now let's add our price so how much would you sell this food i will sell it in my case i'll sell it for 30 cities which is something cool okay so i'll just press t on my keyboard okay and i'll come to my text and um, i'll choose league gothic so this is a font that is free in canva okay okay so i'll use gh and if you're Ghanaian watching this alt 155 would give you the you know the cd sign okay so then i'll just come here and um you know i'll just add it so i will sell it for 30 okay so 30 cds select all and choose italic okay so something cool like this then just center it over here okay then duplicate it position it here and um, maybe i'll just say place order okay 
O R D E R. Okay, then um, I can just change the text to maybe Canvas Sans. Okay, then I would reduce the size and position it inside of here. Okay, so this is actually something very cool we can all do. All right, so maybe let me just adjust this a little bit and adjust this a little bit. Okay, then reduce the size. And um, what we would want to do next is to add our main text over here. So you can see here I said fried beacon. I know there's no how to spell it, but forget. <laughs> when i want to explain it my head will be t headache me yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'll duplicate this one over here and this looks like beef okay so i can also just say fried f-r-i-e-d okay then i'll duplicate it position it here and maybe i'll just use mutton because i want a longer word and just in case you don't know what mutton is is goat meat okay so goat yeah then i'll position here select all the two reduce the little bit and just do things this way you can see very easy and very simple maybe i should reduce the size of this a little bit okay so that we can have um, more space over here reduce this and um, finally just drop everything down okay so drop it down and drop this one also down a little bit okay then i would position this one over here all right so now that we have done this what i'm going to do next is to add some stars you can see that i added some stars over there so we come into element in element just search for star okay then just add any star at all of your choice so i would maybe increase the size let me just um, do this okay so reduce the size like this duplicate it position it this way and i just hope canva lens what we want okay so five star five michelin star so one two three four five but it looks like it's not aligned well so press the first star or select the first star press and hold shift and select the remaining stars so you can see it's not arranged well then come to position come to tidy up okay so this should arrange everything from you group them position it here and rotate it slightly like that okay okay then move it up a little bit okay so this is what i want okay so then i change color of this one to the brown over here and this one will be a lighter one over here like that okay then we can add any subtext at all but i'll just copy what i wrote over here because i think it, it makes a lot of sense because it says have a taste have a bite and lick your fingers you know i think this one can actually sell you know if i had a restaurant that's what i'll just say have a taste have a bite and lick your fingers it sounds very cool okay so yeah then what we are actually going to do next is adding some interesting textures so come into element and search for cement texture and yes i know um cement has nothing to do with food but just to give the design you know a certain vibe you understand so i'll just resize like this and just position it down here okay then i'll come to transparency and reduce the transparency you understand okay then we'll just send it behind this paper over here so just keep sending it backward 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 so it goes behind okay nice one and um, select everything you have over here your text and also send it to the back okay so you can see how this is looking also then we will just add some social media stuff at the moment okay so we just now have to add our social media um handles so come into element again and search for maybe facebook if you have a facebook page okay then select the facebook um logo let me click on add a page and do all the arrangements over here then search for twitter then add your twitter okay over here then the next thing is instagram okay so i'll also search and add it then select everything and reduce the size okay then i'll also you know copy all of this so copy it come here reduce it you know and um you know we just reduce the size and i think i have to reduce the size more of this then we'll just have to now arrange them nicely so facebook come here instagram and twitter okay over here then we'll change the colors to the brown okay so come here brown come to the facebook and choose the brown for it okay then the handle i will just say at benny torrent okay you know like benny restaurant so benny torrent <laughs> okay then you know just do what i'm doing i arrange it like this you know something very cool okay then select everything and copy and paste okay then we'll just position it here it's looking too big so reduce the size to something like that okay then with the same um, idea you can maybe delete all of this come to element and search for contact okay then select the circle and the reason why i left the facebook is just so that i can be able to resize this to match what we already have over here okay and i'll delete it move it over here and i'll just change it to the number so maybe plus two three three two 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 one 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 four 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 
okay then this is also looking cool then i come here change the color to the same um thing at all like you know just change the color so now we just change the color to the brown and position it here and we use the size more to also match everything we have created okay then move this one also here so you can see what we have been able let me delete this first so you can see what we have been able to create and the last thing i think i added was this nice beacon over here okay so i will just add it over here and i'll just say matton m u t t o n okay and it's just a matter of you duplicating it and reducing the size and sending it backward okay so send it backward behind this and yeah that's how everything is looking i hope you're able to find this helpful i hope you learned some few tips and tricks from this particular tutorial so just in case you're looking at having more canva tutorials there are two things i'll need you to do the first thing is to hit on the like button to support this video and the second thing to do is to hit on the subscribe button actually smash the subscribe button so that with any canva videos i post you can also be able to have it and yes check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video